Um, just sharpen up on the little things. Uh, you know, we can't really do too much. But, you know, for the most part, just getting in, doing shell drills, make sure our defense is tight and just working on offensive concepts that, um, you know, can bowl well for us in the future within uh, games. When, when you guys hit that little bit of a speed, I know you missed some of that time because you were still getting over uh, your, your ankle. But do you think that the lack of practice time, do you have some big road games contributed to where you guys had that little down spell? Um, I mean, you could, you know, always when you have opportunities to practice, it kind of, you know, helps your individual rhythm as a player to get on the court and just simply just play five on five. And, you know, when you're not practicing and not doing much, the only five on five you have is games. You know, it's kind of tough um, to play how you want to play. So, when you guys do practice, how important is the video session for that or even after the practice? I mean, that's just been the, the diagnosis of our season, pretty much, just uh, the film room. You know, we we're a pretty smart bunch of guys, a lot of guys that played a lot of, you know, games and um, well-seasoned vets. So, um, you know, we've done a great job over the course of the year of just you know, doing what we do in the film room and applying it to the court. And, um, you know, it's worked for us. Uh, our record kind of reflects it. So. so when Frank points something out, you guys can then go, yeah, he's right. Can you see it visually? Um, you know, whether it's pointing out or just, you know, just, you know, whether it's like we're not boxing out. We have a thing where, you know, we're not the best at boxing out because we have great rebounders. And, you know, sometimes it bites us and, you know, we just try to apply it to the next game and just get better at it. We've had a couple shots this year, buzzer beaters uh, from half court, three quarters court. Is that sort of your specialty? Um, I guess. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, you know, I don't really care about percentages too much. I just play basketball and just shoot because it's fun. And it's plus, if you hit the shot, then you know the crowd goes crazy and it's uh, exciting. So seems like teammates have been targeting you for those those looks. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, we have a golden rule that um, you know I get every um, you know last second shot except for the fourth quarter. That's the Browns' time, but. Uh, first and third is kind of is mine. So how'd how that come about? I, you know, I've hit like ten of them. I know. So <laughs> that's how it come about. But now they all just automatically yeah, look for just you. automatic. Yeah. The, the one you hit in Portland that didn't count uh, is that the longest shot you've made in a game? Um, in the NBA game, game, yeah, yeah. Game. yeah. So this was going back to Utah in high school. You were hitting shots like that too? Um, no, not necessarily. Um, but kind of just started in the NBA, yeah. How would you assess where you are individually and then second year as a whole? Um, I'm, I'm at a good place. Uh, ever since I've been healthy, I've been playing the way I play and um, you know contributing to the team in a larger factor. Second unit, um, you know, just continue work in progress as we um, you know continue to dial in our rotation, our lineups. Um, you know, and just camaraderie on the court and chemistry. Uh, you know, we do a good job some games, and some games is, you know, kind of off, but, you know, can't really be, you know, perfect or consistent for 82 games. You know, that's kind of tough to ask um, as a unit, but, um, you know, we do our best to, you know, have that effort every single night. Uh, it's kind of that time of year where the, the transaction market's firing up again. And, uh, and, and do you feel like, there was something you learned going through the process last year that, that you can apply to this year about sort of uh, just just dealing with that. Um, I mean, just gotta just don't really worry about it. You know, for me, I, I've been in trade rumors ever since I came here. I think that's just a thing that happens. You know, when you're a Laker, um, you know, you're always in trade rumors, and especially around this time. So. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. You just control what you control, so.